hello happy monday um it is monday so it is only right we are working with our monthly make stamp sets hi lynn um so i've had a few comments about it being such a big stamp and it has to be used on a big card so i thought i'd have a bit of a play with the dl size card today i'm going to do something really simple but hopefully really effective as well so I've got my DL card, I've got my stamp sets, and that's it. That's what we're going to work with today. Oh, that's great news, Lynn. Hi, Christine. So, I'm going to get going. There we go, just make sure everything's working on the pewter. <laughs> right, so it's a bit chilly in here today, actually. My teeth start chattering, I do apologise. I did put myself a new black ink as well, so hopefully I will get some good stamping as well today. Right, so all I've got here, let me move my stamp to the side over there. And um, all I've got here is a DL base card. I've just cut a teeny tiny half a centimetre off, so you can see I'm working with very little borders. Well, they would be very little if I hadn't have um, very cut it straight. There you go, it's got a really tiny little border around there, and then we've got our top panel. So I'm going to work on this one first. Hi mom. Hi Denise. Oh have a lovely afternoon. Hi Helen. So starting off with my DL. Not quite sure what's on that side so let's go for that. Oh even worse let's go for that side. Be fine we're going to cover it all up. So starting off I'm going to start off with my big Plate. Now I can't decide which way I'm going to do this actually. I want to do a bit of a resist technique. So, um, no, I am. I'm going to start off with um, the big stamp. So first up, and I'm going to be really brave as well. I still not filled my water bottle up, so this is going to be interesting. I'm going to do some embossing to start off with. Hi Leslie. So I've got my clear ink. Let me grab all my bits before I start going. You know what I'm like? I've got my white, well, my cream embossing powder. My anesthetic bag, my clear ink, and I've got my tidy tray. I'm all set. So first up, I'm going to give this a quick wipe over because I'm going to stamp all over it. There we go. I'm just going to grab my clear ink. And the difficulty is because it's a big stamp and I'm coming up with excuses aren't I already um, it's a big stamp and it's clear ink I'm just going to randomly stamp this one in just giving it a good press where I know it's got detail Turn it around, it's quite cold in here, so I'm not worrying too much about my ink drying too fast today. It's more likely to freeze my ink rather than. Um, don't want them overlapping, so I'm just going to pop it in just like that. This is where tinted ink comes in a little bit because you can, it leaves like um, a pink, a pink tint that does dry away so it goes back to clear. You can see where you stamp it better than relying on the light. I'm just going to do one more up in this top corner. Not quite sure which bit of my stamp I'm going to use, so. Okay. Take it off. I just need to look, watch where I'm going to hold it. Let's throw some embossing powder over this. So we're doing a really um, easy technique today. Just throw some embossing powder down. Oopsie. Got that with me. And 
we can go back to eating boss that in a second. Sandy's been out walking this morning without some support. Well done, Sandy. Well done. That sounds like I'm clapping. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm itching my tray. Um, oh, that's huge. Well done. And now you can go and craft. Absolutely, you deserve, you deserve that this afternoon. Nice crafty afternoon to celebrate. Hi, Jackie. So, I'm going to put that away. I really do need to tidy my tidy tray. Look at the state of that. My tidy tray ain't so tidy. And let's just get this heat embossed. I would give it to me. Keep going on. <laughs> You can always tell when I come in a crafty shed in a hurry. If you get to turn certain bugs on. I have turned my laptop on, that's the main thing though. <laughs> it's a little bit of time to heat up. You can see it's going to work its magic now. Is it really good? It's really sandy. It's doing really well. I believe that's 1860. Well, so to me, we're still probably in about June. Mm. Mm. You're in my little world, and I have still think it's about June. So the weather's not really good for June, is it really? <laughs> embossing this one. You can see it's always going to take a bit. I've got quite a lot of embossing powder on here. And before I was saying, I wasn't sure which way around to do this because we're going to put some distress inks over the top now. And the distress oxides over the top. Um, so we could have done this before or after. I always get me embossing out of the way because you know me, me embossing. If it's going to go wrong, that's my, my point where it's going to go wrong. It's nearly there. And just remember with your embossing. There we go. Just going to leave that a second or two, just to cool, one to cool down, but two to also set. Because some embossing powders like these do stay a little bit squishy for... There we go, nearly done. Um, I've done it so many times where I've gone to move it. And it just it just moves because it's too hot still so that's okay now oh well comments not working again that's no fun is it no it's me that has problems with comments to be fair i've just jinxed it now haven't i right so i'm going to go to my go-to colors because well and it's comfort zone isn't it it's this one still hasn't found its home it's still, still floating around. So I'm going to my comfort zone of. Yes, I'm going to do wilted violet. I can't decide then. Do I do wilted violet or do I do seedless preserve? So my comfort zone for oxides and this technique is good old cracked pistachio, peacock feathers, wilted violet, or um, picked raspberry. Yep, so that is my go to colours. Tidy my desk as it goes on. Oh, Christine's going to have to go and walk a dog. <laughs> have a lovely walk, Christine. Um, so these are my go tos. I'm going to try it with tissue, see how we get on because my, well, my hands are playing up a little bit, so we will see. So, into tissue into quarters, make yourself a little ball or use your distress tools ever ones you feel more comfortable and then we're just going to do you, you've seen this so many times we're going to do our blob the more you put down here the more you're going to get as a really nice resist 
fair, I'm quite liking that. Oh, you can't see it. Yeah, that's quite nice. And this one. And then we're going to go in with our peacock feathers. There's that one. You can tell I use these ones together a lot because they're quite easy to find. <laughs> Clean tissue, clean tissue all the time when you're using your oxides. Turn it around. And I'm just going to start filling in some of these gaps. Just be careful because some of your colours, especially things like peacock feathers, um, forest moss, there's a few of them, they are quite juicy so I can tell that's juicy straight away. So benefit of using kitchen roll is you can go on really gently. I'm hardly putting any pressure on there at all. And then as it starts to run out of my tissue, I start to then really rub. Because that's how dark it is going to come out. <laughs> and just some more in here. And then with my final colour, I'm just going to fill in my little gap. On this one but before I do that can you see I've got my oxide on the table I'm just going to wipe that down so I don't transfer it onto anything oops see I'm throwing all my bits of card around there give it a quick wipe see there's still loads of crap pistachio on there the next one I'm just going to use our wilted fire Again. See that one's really juicy, isn't it? So really gently to begin with. Let's start to build it. And I'm just going to pop a few bits where I think I want to see a bit more colour. Put a bit down here as well. So it's starting to look a bit more um, rainbowy. Bit there. Now with whatever I've got left on my tissue I'm just going to drag around the edges just to pull it all together. Again, I'll just pick up that little bit that was on my desk. So, looking alright. Put my lid back on my inks and wipe my desk. That's the key with this, keep your desk nice and clean because otherwise we don't pop. You can tell that your um, oxides are even thinking about it. Right, so I'm going to keep that bit of tissue. Where it is? I'm going to go for my little diddy dots, our little bits that go within our flowers. And all I want, I'm going to actually I'm going to use one of my bigger ones so I don't have to get my inky pinkies all over it. I'm going to do a bit of a water resist to start off with. Get those lovely layers. So just pop your stamp into your water. Give it a quick dot. Whoa, that was too, that was way too wet. <laughs> I'm overloading it with water. There you go, that's how it's supposed to look. Overloading. Just keep popping it wherever you, you think it needs some. I'm not concentrating too much on my leaves. Yeah, because I'm half tempted that we might. Um, I haven't quite decided what I'm doing with them yet, so I'm not going to, to work too much on our use for now. I think it goes that way, doesn't it? Mm. Right, so I'm going to add some more texture to it. I'm going to grab my Kaylee's Claw first and just start adding these in. I 
what I was going to just um, put some papers over the top but I think that would waste it so we need to do something with our colours I'm thinking out loud now you can tell yeah, I'm starting to think out loud you see my thought process then so I'm going to go in with my peacock feathers because again I just want a bit more guess what I'm going to do next. Yep, yeah, we're going to go in with um, the zipper. Oh, Denise has got to go now. Have a lovely afternoon, Denise. Just keep popping more bits in. what we'll do. I'm actually loving the colours we've got going on here. So I think we're going to take our um, water resist a, a bit further. It is one of my favourite techniques Sandy. I do use it a lot. Um, it's, a, it's a good one. You know sometimes um, if you've just got a bit of a Ugh, and you're not quite sure where to start with a stamp set or even a um a project just grab your go-to colors and just start inking yep so just start inking it's also a good one for just playing with colors as well getting to know which one go together you can do it with your inks your distress inks it just um the resist just takes a bit longer so you've just got to hold it on a bit more right so normally if you think about your flower you'd have more shade here than at the end so normally i'd be painting away like this wouldn't i but because i want to take the water away i'm gonna i'm doing the reverse aren't i so i'm gonna start at the ends and just oops would be handy if i had my tissue in a way i could hold it again the brush is holding a lot of water I wasn't expecting it to quite do that it's looking quite nice because you still get a hint of the colour yeah but not quite so much it's because it looks like it's being bleached and it moves your paws around a bit as well. There you go. I'm not being quite as heavy handed. <laughs> Me heavy handed now. Again, just pick up little bits of water. I'm going to do this on all of our leaves. The longer you leave your water on, the more colour it bleaches off. So you'll notice I'm working on one leaf at a time. And I keep turning my tissue. Yep. Yeah. Um, and the reason I'm doing that is I don't want my wet tissue to come and blot a lot of the ink off. I want to be in control of it. Okay. Again, I'm just getting, you'll notice I keep just wiping my paintbrush off and that's to get rid of any of the colour that I'm picking up at the same time. I just want that to come down a bit more. Not that I'm being fussy. Never. Me fussy never. There we go. I'm loving as it's starting to dry, it's starting to see those lovely brush strokes in there as well. Again, just coming in on this one. Nearly there. It's amazing, isn't it? Even though we've gone for a slightly smaller card, the. Oh, I'll leave it sat there because it looks quite nice sat there. <laughs> the techniques we're putting into it. Oopsie. That wasn't a very good painting, I went over that line. There we go. We could just leave it like that, couldn't we? Could 
just leave it like that. So I think that looks quite pretty. But I'm not. Because you know it's me. I have to faff and fiddle and mess a little bit more. So you notice I've got my little brush out. I'm thinking I want to put a little bit of colour, so a little bit of shade in now. Yep. Yeah. Um, and that's the only one I've got on there, isn't it? That's fine. Um, I also want to add a little bit of colour to our flowers. So I'm actually thinking pink. And I know I don't normally use pink. I'm thinking out loud again. I'm not going to do pixed raspberry, I think that's going to be a bit too much. I'm thinking more of um, warm lipstick, but only because it's not a very strong colour. So it's not going to block out what's behind it. I am thinking out loud, aren't I? Oh no, Victorian Velvet, that jumped off the shelf earlier. <laughs> so now, all I want to do... Do you I do quite like that as it is. I'm going to put some shade in first and then I will faff if I think I need to. But I've got a colour there that will work. So I'm just looking for my weathered wood. I'm not having a good one that one, yet. I'm just going to pop a little bit on my desk. You've seen me do this so many times. A little bit on my desk. Pop some water down. Fix my paintbrush. <laughs> so I'm going to start at the top. So all, all the leaves are underneath. Oopsie. This is only going to be really subtle. It might be better coming in with a pencil because it's moving me upside, but that's fine. The difference is I'm not going to move it, so that I can just see that a little bit that I've been putting in there. Oh, just adds to it. I need to come in here and then I've got my little lines as well. And we will do exactly the same in a minute with our, there we go, this is where we want to. Come on. Just adding little bits all the time. Now I have ended up going into my more concentrated colour just to make it jump a bit more. Oopsie. There we go. I've just got a little smidge to do here. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's done much, but it just gives them a little bit more depth. Yep. So wipe that off my desk. And then what it has told me though is you see how we've got this lovely um crap pistachio and it's the same here. This this is the only one where I've got the centre of my flower. So I'm gonna go back to my crap pistachio. There we go. And I'm gonna see if I've got enough in it just to my tissue gun. What I'm going to do is just blot it a little bit to get any that's on top of my embossing powder. There we go. Let me just turn that down a little bit. Start to see it a bit better now. Yeah, right. You're all really quiet today. <laughs> it does make me wonder. 
No. Unless comments is really playing up this end as well now. It, it has been a bit floopy the internet the last few days to be fair. So I'm just going to go in now with my pink. Yeah, and make a bit more of a feature out of my flowers here. Don't want much. No, less is more. I don't normally say that, do I? I'm normally the one saying whack it on, it'd be fine. So I'm going to do a couple smidges. And I know I've not brought the others up that high, but there we go. Now, I'm going to grab my background. That'll go on there. I'm just now seeing if I want to do any doodling or anything around the edges. But I actually think that looks quite nice as it is. I'll let these just dry off. Oopsie. Oopsie. Let's see a couple of oxides on top of me. Embossing powder there. There we go. Right, so. <laughs> I'm keeping you quiet, am I? Right. So, I am I'm quite liking how that looks. I'm not going to doodle around the edge because actually it looks like um, almost like a watercolour, doesn't it? So I need a sentiment. So, 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 so. There we go. I'm thinking, do we just splat that on at the bottom? And then we're not going to hide too much of that background. I think that'd work, wouldn't it? So, I need some white card. I don't want to stamp on top of that because I've got my hiddledy piddledy lines of me embossing. So if I try and do that, you're going to end up with white bits coming through and all sorts. So it would make my sentiment stamp all um, blotchy. And I don't, don't want that at all, do we? So I'm going to go with all flowers need time to bloom. I'm just looking at it and thinking, do I want a border? No, not really. So let's try out. Oh, which was my new one? I don't know which my new one was. That's good, isn't it? <laughs> oh, it was on me, that's not it? Oh, that one looks like it's got a bit of a clean top. There we go, that one's got a clean top. It still looks shiny. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. Sound of new ink. Oh. Put that down and put a border around it. Can't decide. There we go. Oh, new ink. Can't beat new ink. We're going to trim this one down and then we will give it a border of. Um, should really let it dry a little bit because otherwise we might smudge. Concentrate when I'm cutting out, don't I? I'm just sizing it up on my paper. No, that's too big, so we're going to just chop it down a bit more. So we're going for virtually no space around it. I'm going to grab some of, I'm hoping it's going to fit on that piece. And it does, okay. I know I've been die cutting. That's a shocker for you, isn't it? Put that there. My 
just a little bit too close. Might get away with it. There we go. Hi, Pauline. <laughs> and yeah, I think Alan has arrived. Yay! <laughs> To be fair, I can't wait for it to be the first so we can start opening them boxes. We've got a few more to get out today, but I think we're up to date on them at the moment. So we've got a post office run this afternoon. I hope. The other day when we went to the post office, it was queuing out the door. So I did the whole drive around the block and hope key went down it didn't but <laughs> there we go right so I'm quite liking that it does look a bit woo, like it's just jumping out of us though so I am wondering so I'm faffing now aren't I and if we could just but then it'd be hanging over my paper mm -hmm. I suppose we could turn it round. There's me thinking. Oof. It's dangerous. I've put a big inky pinky mark on that one now. I'm kind of thinking. No, I like the simplicity of it actually. Just like that. I was wondering if. I think I'm trying to overcomplicate it, aren't I? We just popped the corner so it was like dangling over it, you know, like a bit of a like a photo corner. But my um I've cut me saying too close. <laughs> After all that, cut me saying too close. No. No, I'm not gonna do that. What I am gonna do is just grab some black ribbon if I can find some. If not, what can I do? my desk. I've got some string but I know I know strings like Marmite. I mean some of you don't like me using string. <laughs> there you go. So all I would do with that either pop that behind there. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, it's decisions, decisions, decisions. I do that way actually. And turn this I have, I've ended up turning this round anyway, haven't I? So something like that with a little bit of a there. Yep. Chop that. And chop it there because I can't find the end of it. The other end of it. Honey. And then this is where it might get tricky. Where's my glue? I might have got ink, but I haven't got. No, where's the new food wraps? That'll do. Right. When I was looking for something else, I found these um, new food drops glaze, and they are pretty good. It's a bit like glossy accents, but doesn't seem to um, clog up the bottle quite as much. Famous last words. I've just jinxed myself now, haven't I? Where's that one? really simple little card to do. Would look nice on a um, 6x6, wouldn't it? It reminds, you know what it reminds me of? Some fabric. I think that's what it is. It reminds me of some fabric. Um, can't remember. Or, um, what's, what's the artist called that used to do like water lilies? Monet. Can I forget money? Spent months studying him. Now she got me ribbon, but that's not good, is it? Okay. 
will go on there like so. I want some foamy pads. I haven't got a clue where mine are, so I'm just going to reopen another. Another one. down on top here. Yeah, I got it right for once I put my foam pads on the right way around. The reason I put them in one corner and the other because I wanted to sit over my ribbon. But it didn't really make any difference. It's more if you're using string that that matters. I just get into that habit of doing it all the time. And then I'm just going to pop that on there like so. I need to cut his legs down a little bit. But that doesn't look too bad, does it? Ooh. Oh, crystal cluster. Yes, I think it's a cause as well, help with that, doesn't it? Then? Okay, I've not, we're not sticking very well. Obviously, Nouveau drops are not good for, for sticking down. But there you go. Right, that was super fast. I didn't even, it, it's taken 37 minutes to be precise. So, should we do, if I can, I'm just looking to see, there we go. Should we do a quick ATC coin inspired by this one? So we're going to do exactly the same thing. But we're going to do it as a coin. There we go. I'm just grabbing it back. This is actually my off cut from my card. But it's going to be a bit trickier, isn't it? we're working on a smaller area but we can do it so what would be nice is if oh I've just found my pan um, I knew I had them somewhere I should also have there we go I knew I should have my ATC coin you're all impressed I knew where they were mm -hmm. let's go for that one so I've got my little coin stamp. Whoop, it's a daisy. No, I've got the third side to work on on this. Yeah, looks about the same. Okay, let's go in with black. So I'm going to stamp up my back first. Because you never know what you're going to do to the front. Oh, front. Oopsie. <laughs> Oh, catch you later, Sandy. Pop that one down there. Didn't want to give it me back. Whoa, that's super. I'm not used to having such good ink pad. <laughs> it's only when you get a new one you realise how run out your old one was. So, don't need that bit just yet. Move it back over there. Now, this is looking a bit wet, so let's give it a quick dry. And then we'll get to work on the front. So, there's our pump. You can just about see our pump there, can't you? The reason I'm drying this is when I turn it over, I don't want it to smudge everywhere. There's nothing more. No other reason for that. This is the two and a half inch um, ATC coin one. The EK Success one of the shoes. So it's a standard um, ATC coin size. Yep. So it's the UK Success one. It's brilliant. It is one of my favourite punches to use. It's lovely for um, creating a spotlight of colour as well. You know, if you just want, if you want if a really quick card, um, so just stamp out, say, a flower or something, and then 
just stamp a bit of the flower into your circle and then spotlight it so just colour that one bit in and pop it on the top really quick card that one so I'm actually going to do this the other way around I'm going to do my distress in first want to splodge it that's all okay, right so i'm gonna start with my crap pistachio looks like i'm not putting anything on does it So these are my go-to colours. I love this colour combo. And um, picked raspberry as well as another one I add into here instead of the purple. Oh, it's like a little man running. <laughs> oh, Jackie's calendar's come. Yay! fill in the gaps like I did before and then just add it anywhere you think you just needs a little bit of purple around the edge there we go make sure I clean the desk up now I'm going to do my dots and everything first oh thanks Helen have a lovely afternoon Yeah, I'm going to start with my dots. So you could have done the main card this way as well. Get some of these green dotties on here. And I'm going to go for my peacock feathers. Now I'm just looking for the spaces where I think I'm going to have a few in there. A massive gap there. That'll do. Now, should we emboss on this one or not? Or should we just stand? I think we're going to emboss, but I think. Hi Denise, we've moved on to a little ATC coin because we were super fast with our first one. So I thought we would quickly just do an ATC coin. I'm just going to dry this off on my heat gun because if I'm embossing, anything that's wet is going to attract my embossing powder. And then um, stress oxides is one of those that you think it's dry but it's not right. So when you're um, drying, just keep moving the piece around because it'll catch the light differently so you know when you've got it on. I think I've done it that time. Right, so I'm not going to use that big flower head because otherwise you're not going to see anything else. I'm going to use the smaller one. And let me move that out of the way. That was our inspiration for our ATC. Okay, pop this one. No matter what I do, I'm going to end up with an inky pinky mark on this one. <laughs> I'm half telling you, do we go for a darker? No, we'll stick with the whites, I think. They look quite nice. And so let's stick with our white. So random now, which is quite hard to do on a um, <laughs> oh, 
I can't this load. There we go. Right. <laughs> Ink, embossing powder, there it is. I can find everything else but the one I wanted then. I couldn't get my lid off, how rude. Hi Jackie. Okay, let's just put that there, I think. There we go, so we've got four on there. Just put that there for a second. Oh, you can see where my inky binky was on that. Never mind, we will sort that out. Bring it back here. So just here, where I was holding it, the moisture from my nail. I keep, I keep pointing it back on the shelf. It really shouldn't. Well, back on its hook. Back on its hook. This time we are and do something a little bit different. Do -do -do -do. Just a bit there. Right, that should be all good. And just give it a couple of moments to um, cool down. So this time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some sprinkler in it. So instead of just taking the colour away, I'm not going to blot. I've got my gold. Not off to do. I've got me got me gold iridescence, my gold glitter, glitter binder mix for my sprinkler. Some lumpy bits in the all. There we go. Right. Got a teeny tiny amount of water because I want it quite concentrated. Ooh, we've got a bit of blue. Just keep mixing it until you can see all the lumpy bits have gone. that quite as much so I'm going to block that. I'm going to take it away and then I'm going to put my sparkle back over the top. some of the sparkle to be fair because now it's on my desk it'll be on my desk for a while it does look nice though doesn't it with the I was trying to change it up too much and didn't need changing so now I'm just going to come back in with a bit of me I don't know if you can see the sprinkler going on there but it does look You could just use glitter glue, I suppose, for that. Yeah, it's starting to get your little bits. I've got to get that glitter out of my uh, paintbrush now. Yeah. Right, and then I'm just going to add my shading just like I did before. I said we're going to do virtually the same as last time, and we are doing, aren't we? So a little bit of me, me grey. I'm not going to bother watering it down because, well, we didn't need to last time, did we? We just wanted that. Um, and put some on the flowers as well. We can hear me hand getting stuck on my desk. Okay. 
again. Just around there. Again, I could have used my pencils for this. Just to add in a bit more detail. And then we need to put some words on it, don't we? I just need a smidgen of water because my brush is getting clogged up because it's picking up a few of the sprinklers because it's not drying. Um, there we go. That's quite pretty actually, isn't it? I suppose it could be a gift tag to go on our bag, couldn't it? You know, like to go with our card. Pop a little gift tag on it as well. Right, so now on to word. I'm sure the paintbrush was dry. I won't use Brave Spirit because I've not changed mine out. All of you should have had your um, new stamps sent out. They were all sent out on Tuesday last week, so they should be with you. If you've not given me a shout. We should have them. So all I'm going to do is with this kind heart. Oh, it's like it was meant to be. How cool is that? I love it when little scraps. I wonder actually. Look at that! It fits even better. I mean, you've just got a little offcuts lying on your desk. Wonderful for your little sentiments like that one. Work perfect. Now, the heat is literally going to go into the centre of that. So, dry a little bit, please. I've already smudged one today. <laughs> and then I think, oh, I wonder if I've got a little smidge in a purple. I think purple would look nice, wouldn't it? It's not little, but I've got purple. What even fit in my guillotine? That's how much purple we've got. <laughs> Put that over there. I'll tell you what we could do. Ooh. I'm going to be naughty, I'm going to bring in one stamp that isn't in the set. I know I don't normally do that on a monthly make, especially this early in the month. But I think, to finish off my ATC, I think it's going to look really nice. Actually, I'm going to bring in two. I'll apologise even more. Um, okay, I'm going to so me just chop. Me purple, that was the worst cutting out ever. <laughs> it could be fine. So, one and a quarter, so one and a half, be one and a quarter. Oh, this is the one that doesn't cut very well. Excellent. The reason why that purple's in the drawer. never measure anything I mean it's easier isn't it if I just do it by eye I do forget things too quickly yeah. see how much better does that look I should put it the right size this time so that's gonna go there and now I'm gonna I am I'm gonna be super naughty I'm gonna bring you two little bits so I want a butterfly because I think that would look quite nice on there. And I also want two. I'm just dancing with my guillotine now because I haven't got. So I 
our our frame. Well, so short, maybe kind of. Or just about fit. So, because I know the um, mini circle fits on there. So, where's my grey gone? Because I don't want this to be black. Yeah, if I did it in black now, I think it'd overpower it. But to do a really nice little border. See, this one's taking. Um, I'm faffing more with this than I did with the big card. And then we're just going to come in on here. I'm just giving it an extra press because we're going over that embossing. Would have been better to do it before we did our embossing, but I haven't thought about it then. Oh, you'll see. There we go. Right. So next, where's my little tissue gone? I'm just going to take it off my white before it dries. You leave it to dry, it will in here embossing mode if you just give it a quick white now how far is it just going to jump back to the top there we go and then flower let's grab our little flower and our flower butterfly we've got our flower and all I want is a little tiny one I don't want the big one because it'll be too big Whereas this tiny one will work perfectly. I've just had my oh, big one there is. Can't see for looking today. Give this a quick ink up. Not too much because it is very juicy ink. Ooh, no. Yeah. Over inked and over pressed it, then that's not good. So you can tell I'm not used to working with juicy ink pads. <laughs> right, let's get my flowers back. Hey, my butterflies, I keep calling them flowers. What's that sound like? Or was it Bambi? Always called butterflies flowers. Right, and I want a nice bright pop of colour. So. I was hiding from the raspberry all the time, wasn't I? So I'm going to go pick raspberry. Just a little bit. Oop. And then maybe should have waited for it to dry a little bit. Just a little bit. Just pop them in there. There we go, we've got our lovely little bright pink butterfly. Yep. So again, I'm just going to leave that to one side to dry. I'm going to do, 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 try for once to put my sentiment on the right way around. I'm just half clean because we've got a bit of sparkle we might as well keep our sparkly bits going haven't we so I've just got one of my stardust really gently around the edge and I know I've not left much of a border for this there we go so just a little bit of sparkle I should have stuck that onto the background first I'd have made it too easy, wouldn't it? <laughs> Let's get this bit stuck. I'm going to actually pop it down. I'm not going to pop it towards the top. 
I'm getting a lot of wiggle room left on that because obviously using my Nego drops not great at this thing. So, ooh, not them. Give my hands a chance to cut it out. <laughs> Could add a little bit of sparkle to our butterfly as well, couldn't we? I've turned into the sparkle queen this afternoon. It's that Monday feeling, isn't it? We need to sparkle. There we go. He does look fiddlier than he is to put out that little butterfly. And I would say we might put a little bit of sparkle in here. I've got pink, that'll do. I'm just going to pop them a colour. In the colours. Right in the centre. I'm not going to floof him up too much because... Obviously he's got an ATC, isn't he? So have a bit of a blob there for him. Oops. Come on, stick. <laughs> Where you want to, really. Okay. There we go. I think that looks... Let me just hold it up for you. Super cute little ATC. But it's done exactly the same way as we did our main card. So let me just tidy up a bit of space. So this is our main card that we did. So you can see that lovely technique, exactly the same. Well, apart from we did our embossing first. Because I kind of knew what I was doing on the first one. Well, I had an idea on the first one. So you've got that lovely watercolour effect in the background. And then we've just got our little ATC. go with it as well. So two, two today, hey? I've done really well today. Really simple though, aren't they? Really simple little techniques. I love actually how we've got that little bit of, um, like, well it is, it's a frame, isn't it? Around our ATC coin as well. So there you go. Those are today's monthly make cards. I know I was naughty and I brought in two extra stamps, but I think they were worth it, especially those little butterflies. Could have been a die cut. So that's it for today. Um, we are back on, well, we're not back, well, we're kind of back. We're on, we're on your telly boxes on Wednesday at one o'clock. I've got the lovely Scott with me. Um, so that's gonna be fun. Can't wait to work with Scott, he's lovely. Um, we have got all our new frames sets going on and a couple of the calendars. Then we will be back here as usual on Friday night at 7.30. So I hope you can join me for one of those. Um, I think that's it. Very busy week ahead. Hachanda, 1 o'clock Wednesday. And then we'll be back for Facebook Live on Friday night at 7.30. I hope you've enjoyed that. hope you're enjoying your monthly make stamps. Um, thank you very much for watching. Take care, stay safe, and I will see you all again very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.